I'm so excited to see more and more specialty coffee shops popping up in coffee producing countries and El Poblado district of Medellin was definitely a hot spot. So here we are at the Nowhere Coffee headquarters. Yeah. We're just heading out to do a quick coffee tour of Medellin and maybe check out a few other really cool things Whatever. along the way. Juan is the man behind the scenes here at Nowhere Coffee. I'll explain a little bit more later. Let's go check out Medellin's specialty coffee scene. Our first stop is Urbania Cafe on Calle Ocho, a cozy little spot that actually has a few locations across Medellin and is specifically concentrated on their social and environmental impacts. For example, we ordered a few tasty pour overs, one which supports the conservation of local jaguars and another called Peace or Paz, which supports victims of armed conflict. I really enjoyed the vibe here. And before we got hit by the next showers, we jumped in the car to our second stop of the tour. Café Velvet. Café con acento belga. Coffee with a Belgian accent. This stylish, woman-owned business on Carrera 37, 37th Street, has locations in both Medellin and Brussels, and prides itself on roasting at origin and using proceeds to give much more back to the farmers who grow their coffee. They had so much selection of great coffee, we ordered a little bit of everything. A filter coffee of their house roast, Manifiesto, a pour over of a beautiful geisha from the farmer Diego Samuel from Finca El Paraíso, and they even shared with us their signature cold brew, a unique fermentation process that tasted like prunes and heaven. Now quite caffeinated, it was time to dodge the rain and jump right across the street to one of Colombia's famed cafe roasters, Pergamino. I could tell this was a popular spot with a long lineup at the door, and we knew we needed to get some of that delicious food in our bellies. Love the little design touches around the space and lively team behind the counter, and I decided to start off with, yes, even more coffee. Cold brew guandolo with coffee, panela cane sugar, lime, and sparkling water. And of course, I couldn't pass up the salmon bowl, but if you're around, you definitely have to try the potatoes here in Medellin, papas criollas, insanely good. Cafe Once Once, 11.11. This was our next stop over on Carrera 43A, 43E Street. Sebastian, the roaster, showed us around his roastery on the ground floor before we made our way up to the rooftop cafe to sip on some more tasty drinks and also brew a few of our own. I'm drinking a carajillo. It's a little bit of amaretto with espresso. Kind of an off menu item, but we're gonna be drinking. What is this coffee that we're, we're about to drink here this on the Chemex? Is, this is gonna be a wash coffee. Watch coffee from right here. What, what's the, where is it? I said it was about three hours from here. It's uh, a, we call it like a, like a town, yeah? Yeah. It's pretty much like a town that's three hours from here. Um, El Occidente. Nice. Super local coffee. We make it ourselves here at Once Once, 11 11. It's a really good time to drink coffee. It's a really lucky time of the day, so check it out. So one neighborhood I was told I couldn't pass up during my stay in Medellin was called Comuna 13. It's a bit across town, but they have a budding coffee scene here too, so we decided to hitch a ride and scale the rest by foot. Since Medellin is at 1,400, 1,500 meters above sea level, probably a little bit higher than that now. So climbing anything takes a lot more energy. We are taking a little break. Well, it's a part of our coffee tour here because this is the Museum of Coffee here in the neighborhood of Comuna 13. Now this, we're doing a quick tour. It's very interesting, very beautiful. Long escalators, long inclinations, and uh, I'll tell you more about that later, but this is a local coffee that she prepared for us, uh, Manuela, in a, in a French press. Mm. Very good. Very solid, very sweet. A lot of the Colombian coffee here is, is nice and sweet, sort of uh, chocolatey, caramelizado. And uh, it's a beautiful, sort of rainy, foggy day today, but we're making the best of it here in Comuna 13, drinking some nice specialty coffee. Mm. 
So now the rain is quite picking up. We're walking along. We're gonna have to stop for shelter, but something that Juan was just explaining to me um, is Comuna Teresa used to be a really sketchy neighborhood. Back in the day, n not even police could come up here, but now they've converted it all. What was the main way that they converted it? They made it like a tourist, basically almost like a tourist attraction showcasing the chain. Yeah, and so a lot of artists here, as you can see, lots of paintings behind us. And so the government and the local people also really turned this place around and made it available, you know, made it much safer um, and tourists can come. A lot rainier today, but we're gonna go find some cool murals and check it out. We've already had a lot of coffee, so. Comuna Trece should definitely be on the list for your next trip to Medellin. And if you like this tour, comment your favorite cafe. Let me know which one you loved. Hit like and don't forget to subscribe for more Colombia coffee content coming down the chute real soon. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.